Could you cancel the incoming call somewhere on my phone? <laughs> ah, okay. My boss is calling, sorry. <laughs> okay. Welcome, everybody. And this side. And I will be presenting it as NASA is actually um, uh, leading a session. So thank you for giving us a, a floor for speaking our paper. And well, we had two papers that were very based on statistics. We're going to just present our experiences related with our best, very first class we designed here at the University of Warsaw. And oh, okay. So I was the one who brought the idea, and for me, the inspiration was very much something out of realistic. I was taking, in 2011, I was still studying abroad and taking class. Called, class called Digital Technologies in Archaeology at the University on, in, of Bonn, tutored by Jennifer von Schwerin. And then I was asked to do some classes as a didactic practice for a student, the PhD student in 2014. And I had one, one class, one, one meeting to do, and I had um, possibility, and I decided maybe some <laughs> computer database. And I found out it was very much not enough, one meeting. And I have, uh, after some time, after some discussions with NASA, we proposed a whole course dedicated to computer databases in archaeology. And, uh, and uh, we started it. So um, I was like, I asked NASA because I, NASA, I knew that NASA was going to be helping out so very much well with the technical issues. And I was ideas were just to have a first practical course about, on database in our institute and also to help students because they very much in practice they they don't do anything with databases and we thought they should we also wanted to teach some new trends about computer databases and also to teach them some theory and also to help them execute it in some in their practice so we also wanted to promote some attitude to make them think about the research in terms of design and planning and also to keep it formal and use some certain standards in this uh, research. And we thought a uh, database is a perfect course about database is a perfect vehicle to teach, to promote such attitudes. So we were, uh, we actually were given the opportunity to teach a whole class where we decided to have uh, like, uh, to have it uh, like, very much based on theory and practice, and to have the to, to show some helpful tools. We intended it for master students, and we had a lot of issues: which data model we should use, which database software we should use, and how do we can find some databases. And really, like it was also how to fit it into thirty hours. And it was like first time for me at NASA to teach a class to design it. A very a lot of much work, more work that we thought, and much more like uh, work was like not so, mm, not so, not so, not 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 so, uh, not so, not so, not so, mm, uh, like so much more work that we thought, just for one class, and well, what we wanted to have uh, to have this participatory approach, hands-on, and also to have also this theory. And also to help materialize theory to put it in some realistic realm and to have a lot of fun and also to have something some to show them some uh, latest trends to invite some people and to, to do it uh, to do it uh, something like uh, to bring some passion and show this this is the future of doing it so we put more or less this is like uh, Two of the graphs show the theoretical parts and the practical parts we did in the in the course, the meetings, the themes of the meeting. So we really try to have a, a good ratio, a good harmony in it, in having the practical parts and the theoretical parts. And we had a, a huge problem was like uh, what computer database program uh, we should use. Uh, like not going to the details, like we were thinking, well, if any case, that would be like last minute, uh, last result, we can use leave, leave the office space or open office space because it's free or, or something. 
and actually this is what uh, we did. We thought it's going to be a uh, last result because we will have to deal with a lot of errors, uh, crush-ups and stuff like that. But actually it all went very fine and it was very good for our, um, for our purposes. We also had some user other problems for showing the um, marker, m marker those uh, text marker languages in in use of databases. We use some uh, external website based uh, system for showing the uh, database online and publication possibilities of data database in, on the websites. And we use some freely available uh, data for some practice to show them how the databases are being structured. And then we also assign pro students to do the pro project, to their own project, to design their own database on based on certain certain level of complexity. And well, still, we use this class as a vehicle to go back to the basics and to go back to the very, very simple things and uh, to go back to the basic, uh, the basic level of the theory, to think what we do, and to think about it again, and to do it with the database. And um, we used, uh, in the theoretical part, uh, we, and the practical parts, we used a lot of materials, we did produce a lot of hands out. For every meeting we produce uh, step-by-step -step guides, and even if we were teaching some theories, we did some handouts with doing some games, like here one of the slides, one of the pictures presents our uh, game that was like designed to teach students assigned different kinds of data to different kinds of uh, documentation. And well, there was one very mu much important element. The class was like at 8 a.m. And we really had to use a lot of humor to wake everybody and to focus. So that was very important. One thing, uh, well, we were really scared that nobody going to show up because they're going to be scared of this topic. Uh, but a lot of people show up. First meetings, we have uh, no idea what we're going to do if the students will, like, if something wrong will get wrong, if the students will not be, will be like, not please about the course. Uh, some students had problems working with Excel, with worksheets. Is it like, oh, I'm first time, I'm a master student and I'm first time working with worksheets. And the last meetings, the students were actually getting ahead of the teachers and they did ask very, very, very difficult questions. And after the course, they used, started to use databases in their research. And thanks to skills, some already participants of this one unique course, landed jobs or positions. And well, like one third of uh, participants now worked for money with databases, so we are very happy about it. And final conclusion, was it difficult for students? Yes, it was demanding and the theme of the, the con uh, course, actually the database is something not for one class, one meeting or something that can be introduced. It requires certain amounts of time and resources to be taught properly. And well, students in Poland are not used to having such a class in their curriculum. However, we find out that the students have a lot of great potential and a great interest in the class. And well, it all worked well, very well. Everything just we, even though we thought this would be very difficult, with all the stuff we designed, with all the materials, it was very useful. I think. Uh, <laughs> This kind of uh, theme, subject requires certain materials, and but still it's very doable. But to teach the databases, which is a very useful tool, you need to, to use all this resources. Okay, thank you for. Oh, there is one thing that is work out. Thank you very much in my in my name and Nazar and yeah, I give.